the east. With the showers in Scotland falling on cold ground, there is the risk of ice on untreated surfaces. So the rain across western areas pushing east through the day, accompanied by blustery winds. Behind the rain, look at the array of isobars across southwest England, South Wales and the English Channel. For you, the wind is going to strengthen later. So this morning, the rain continues its journey with some hill snow pushing steadily east. The brightest skies today, sunniest conditions will be across northeast Scotland. But for the rest of Scotland and Northern Ireland, it's going to be fairly cloudy with some showers. Rain moving out of Northern Ireland and across southern Scotland. The rain in Wales and the southwest pushing over towards eastern parts of England with some hill snow. And in some of the heavier bursts, it's not out with the realms of possibility. We could see some snow flurries across parts of northeast England at lower levels for a time, but it will be transient and we don't expect it to settle. Now, behind this band of rain, things improve in terms of temperature. It's not going to be as cold, but there will be some showers around. So later on, the wind continues to strengthen across South Wales, Southwest England, the English Channel and the Channel Islands. We could touch gale force at times. There will be some clear skies, there'll be some showers and today's rain having pushed into the North Sea will swirl back into eastern parts of Scotland. So tomorrow we start off with that rain in eastern Scotland. Again, there'll be some showers around or showery outbreaks of rain coming in across Northern Ireland, North England and also northern parts of Wales. The wind's still a feature of the weather across southern areas, especially the southwestern quarter of the UK. Here too, still touching gale force, but this is where we'll have the highest temperatures at 10 or 11 degrees. As for Saturday, still a lot of dry weather around, but we do have a fair packet of showers and some of those will be falling as snow once again on the hills. Blustery winds across southern areas, northerly wind coming in across the north of Scotland where we'll have some rain. And then later in the day, the next system coming in across the southwest will introduce some rain. Now, there is an element of uncertainty as to just how far north that is going to travel overnight. It may make it into northern England, but what we think is going to happen at the moment is it will move across the southwest through Wales, the western Midlands, heading in the direction of northern England through the day with some hill snow. Also, some hill snow across parts of Northern Ireland and also northern and western Scotland. Some showers scooting across the English Channel and the Channel Islands. But in between, we're looking at some drier and brighter conditions, but still a bit in the nippy side. And still blustery winds across this south. Naga and Charlie. Uh, you know what? As we head into the weekend, for some, they're just a degree or so below average. And for some, like when you see 11s in the charts, that's a wee bit above average. So, but for the bulk of the country, not far off, Naga. Describe to me. Snow, I love the snow. When you don't have to travel and you can just watch it falling, it's just so romantic, actually. What's the weather going to be like? <laughs> Charlie, we've had this conversation already. Yeah, we did, didn't we? I thought you might change your mind by now. <laughs> Are you sticking with your prediction? You mentioned earlier. Snow There's Easter. Uh, Newsflash, news flash. Carol says it's going to rain at Easter. Uh, snow at Easter. Well, it depends when Easter is and how, how cold a winter we have, but there's a greater chance that you will have a colder and snowier Easter than Christmas if Easter falls early, because the winter will be ensconced then and the cold air will be embedded. It's not like you to <laughs> Naka, gosh, look at the time. <laughs> yeah. Anywhere right? but here. Yeah, she's yeah. just... They are gorgeous, aren't they? You know, the start of uh, the summer, I found a huge hedgehog under one of the garden benches and, oh my goodness, it was lovely. I've never seen a real one before. Did you scare it? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I left it in peace, just kept checking occasionally it was all right and then eventually it moved away to probably a better climb, climate, <laughs> who knows? So but it was sweet. lovely, they're Aww. so sweet. Good morning, everyone. This morning it is a chilly start to the day. Some of us have got off to a dry start. Lovely weather watchers picture here. You can see the frost on the picture, though, from West Linton in the Scottish borders. Now, there has been frost this morning across some eastern areas. That's where we've had the brightest skies first thing, but the cloud is already filling in as rain comes in from the west, pushing eastwards. The other thing to watch out for this morning is ice on untreated surfaces in parts of Scotland. The Met Office has a yellow weather warning out to that extent. Now, the rain coming in across Wales, Northern Ireland, southwest England will continue to cross into eastern England, southern Scotland through the course of the day. It's going to be a blustery day. Then later on, the wind really picks up across the southwest and the English Channel. But before that, a lot of dry weather around, the rain getting into eastern England, depositing some hill snow 
followed by some showers. The brightest, sunniest skies for the longest period of time today will be across the northeast of Scotland. But for the rest of Scotland and Northern Ireland, fairly cloudy with showers, rain moving out of Northern Ireland and across southern Scotland. The rain getting into eastern England, falling as snow in the hills. In some of the heavier bursts, there is a chance we could see a little bit of snow even at lower levels across northeast England. But if we do, and it is a very big but, then it won't last and we'll have milder air following in behind. Now, temperatures today, 10s and 11s in the southwest, but still pretty cold across the rest of the UK. Through this evening and overnight, we could have gusts of wind touching gale force across southern parts of Wales, southwest England, the English Channel and the Channel Islands. There will still be some showers, still some hill snow, and although the rain will have pushed into the North Sea, it's going to curl back in across eastern Scotland. So that's where it will be first thing tomorrow morning across eastern Scotland. A lot of dry weather, some brightness, a little bit of sunshine, still those showers, still depositing hill snow. And we will have some showery outbreaks of rain crossing Northern Ireland, getting into North Wales and North West England. But we still will have gusty winds across South Wales, South West England, the English Channel and the Channel Islands. It will be noticeably gusty again. It could well touch gale force at times. Temperature wise, between 5 and 7 generally, for some 9 to 11. On Saturday, once more, we'll have a lot of dry weather around. Some of us seeing some sunshine, blustery winds across England and Wales. And we've got a cooler northerly coming in across northern Scotland. Here, too, there'll be some rain. We've got this system, though, coming into the southwest later on in the day, which may overnight travel as far as northern England. But we think at the moment it probably won't. It will come into the southwest, the Midlands, Wales. But as you can see, still a lot of dry weather, but still blustery winds in the south. If it's something warmer that you want, you'll have to wait till the end of next week when temperatures will pick up a touch. Now get in, Charlie. Carol, we're and being sparkle. quiet. It's, it's great. She doesn't oh, need to hear John. all that nonsense. Hey. She's also oh, from... She's that. also, also Dreek and Dreary. The Dreek weather. There we yes. go. There we go. Oh, John, bless you. You look fabulous.